So Oxido was gracious enough to send us some headlights to test out. They saw my other video and wanted to know if I wanted to try their headlights, and I do. So we're going to go ahead and put these LED headlights in the 2013 Volt and see how well these work. These are, the, again, the LED. They're the ones I'm putting in are DDY13. And here's the barcode on the back. These are specifically for the Volt, the Gen 1 Volt. And it looks like the instructions are pretty much exactly the same as the other ones, which I would expect because, you know, they're made for the Volt. Did come with two rubber rings, a Allen key to adjust the lights, and then also some extra tie straps to tie up the cables if you need to do so, and instructions on how to do it. The basic steps, you gotta come over here and you gotta take this uh, like seal cap off there. And if you put your hand in here, you will find the bulb. There's a little connector you have to turn and pull. That's the light. These are pretty easy style. You undo this clamp right here. The bulb comes off and you plug this clamp into the other bulb and you put it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this one off and put the other one on and get it put in there. So let's turn this on and see what it sounds like. Wow, that is bright. I did ask for bright ones and I got them. You can barely hear the fan noise. I got the phone up real close. It's pretty quiet though. Now these lights do seem brighter than my other Volt's lights. There may be a little more heat generated, a little more wind noise from the fan, but that's pretty silent. That definitely checks the box of being silent. So let's uh, go ahead and install these and see what they're gonna look like. What I found on these is when you get them installed, the wire, of course, goes in line with the beam. You know, the, the light comes out the sides. This would be kind of the center of the beam with the light shining out this way. Well, when you install these lights, this wire, at least on the driver's side, is about 20 degrees clockwise if you're sitting in the driver's seat. So it's more like two o'clock instead of 12 o'clock when it's put in. So that helps me understand that I need to move this wire the opposite direction. So counterclockwise, probably 10 o'clock and then tighten it down. So when I get it in there and I turn it, the beam will be straight up and down. And that calculation was pretty much spot on. The beam in that light is straight up and down when I say beam, it's hard to tell with a, with a camera because it's just so bright, but there will be like a, a blank space in the middle that'd be a slightly darker spot and then brightness on both sides. And you'll know, you'll be able to see it. It's like a cat's eye kind of thing where you'll be able to see the light is beaming on both sides of the light evenly. And that was bright. And let me do that one more time. If you look at the difference, I mean, the one on the right, of course, is the new LED one. The one on the left is the stock 2013 light. So these new LED lights not only look cooler because they got a better color, they kind of look more modern, but they are significantly brighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish installing the light on the other side, and we'll give it a, a test drive and make sure no one high beams is telling us turn off our high beams. But I think they're still gonna be within reason on uh, on light output, but it's gonna be a significant improvement. If you take a little bit of time and somewhat patient, you can easily fit those wires inside of the housing after you've got everything put together so that your caps fit on and stay waterproof. So I got the passenger side light out. Just know that on the Chevy Volts, these Gen 1 Volts, you have to lift up this breather housing to be able to successfully get that bulb out of there and put the new bulb in these housings actually don't even bolt in they just press in to some i guess rubber gaskets that are down there and hold in place so when we're done you have to get it all back together then you have to push this box down back into those rubber gaskets or garments down there and, and seat it so that way it's all nice and done but let me get this other light put in and show you what it all looks like all right now let's test this against my other son's car see about the brightness so there's his lights on there's these lights on 
The Oxytho lights are the ones on the right that I just put in. They have a smoother beam. There's no gap inside the beam really. It's nice and clean. But if you look at the ones on the left, you can kind of see that, I don't know, cat's eye or snake eye, whatever you want to call it, where that has like the slit in the eye. You can see that more pronounced. Now, with that said, I can tell that the beams on the right are brighter. So if you're wanting a brighter headlight, a brighter beam that gives you more spread, I definitely would go with the Oxido ones, just like the ones that I just put in. So I'm gonna go cruise around the neighborhood, just make sure they're not too bright. These headlights are bright, very nice and bright. I, I couldn't expect it any more out of them. These are some very bright headlights and they're doing great. So this is going down just a back road, which has no lights on the sides. And I mean, look at that light coming out of the car. Nobody has high beamed us yet or made us think that these aren't too bright. But man, that this is a huge difference in the lights that he had on here before. So very good. So I, I definitely would recommend these headlights. I may buy me another set for the other car. Well, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It's that red button right below the video that says subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.